Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to give the clean and futuristic season 9 Fortnite banner. I will be using the new Future Pack 2 quite frequently in this video, and Yellowbrush have given me a discount code for you. So use the code YouTube5 for 5% 5 off your purchase. Okay, now we're in Photoshop. Let's create a new document. Uh, if you want to make this banner for YouTube, uh, make it 2120 by 350 looks like this if you're making the banner for twitter like i am you're gonna use 3000 by 1000 and then the resolution on 72 make the back background color black All right so click create a new layer because our gradient i'm gonna make a first of all i like a dark blue and for a second color a gray bluish just like that from the right side, just drag out to the side, just like this. Perfect. So I found this Fortnite wallpaper of Tilted Tower. So we're gonna just copy it, go back to Photoshop and paste it. Just gonna resize it so it covers the whole banner, just like that. Press Ctrl and U and drag it down the saturation. I'm gonna make it soft light and bring down the fill so around here perfect so now let's visit fnbr.co and if you scroll down you can see all the skins uh, so yes i'm just gonna find the one i'm gonna use so i'm gonna use this one this one and this one so just right click and save it to your computer and just drag into your banner and now i'm just gonna position it uh, just like this so now when you have positioned the characters how you like them make a new layer over each skin or character and right click and make it a clipper mask you can press alt and drag to the side right click and drag to the side to make the brush bigger or smaller so you can use the black color just make some shadows and then white color just like this then make it the blending mode overlay and try and down the fill to about 50% and use the same black color make some shadows then the white color to create some highlights make it the blending mode overlay and drain down the fill so now under the characters, create a new layer, go to the gradient tool and make it uh, first a black color and then a purple color and from here just drag diagonally to the side so maybe and make it the blending mode color dodge. Perfect. Now let's create a new layer over the gradient. I'm gonna use the brush tool, alt to select the color, use a blue color a little bit bigger like this then it's pink reddish color about here and purple create some glow behind the characters and then some orange slash yellow this side then make it a blending mode color dodge and we can drag down the fill as well so let's enhance this glow by creating a new layer so let the color white and behind it, just paint white like this and make it the blending mode overlay. You see the difference here? Nice. Perfect. Let's continue using the blending mode um, soft light and overlay to make the glow even more intense. So now create a new layer over the characters. Zoom out, zoom out a little bit, select the brush color, make it a little bit bigger, then select black, the big color black, and just create a vignette around the edges, just like this, and make it the uh, blending mode soft light. We can drag down the fill a little bit. Then let's create a new layer, use the same black color, just over here. Perfect. Above our characters again, create a new layer. 
and we're gonna add some glow on our characters so just select the blue colors here maybe here as well and the red pinkish as well as the yellow do the same with the purple oops and with the yellow and oranges as well then we're gonna make the layer the blending mode color dodge and we're gonna bring it down the opacity as well or the fill to around 30 percent you can see the difference here just adds a little more and makes the make the characters pop all right so let's open up the future pack 2 and use code youtube5 for five percent off don't forget that uh, so we can find all these like sci-fi first of all i'm gonna choose the first one and just drag it to our banner and let's position it behind the characters so around here looks good so let's go back to our future pack so let's find another png we can use and this one looks good so just drag it to our banner and you can see it has like a orange tint to it so just controlling you slide the hue slider to make it purple and let's bring it above the characters and just position it then go back to our future pack again and i think i'm gonna choose two more stocks so i'm gonna choose this one let's drag it and let's control and t to transform it just rotate it just like this and around here looks good and let's one more so i'm gonna choose this one so i'm gonna drag it below the characters like we did with the first stock and i'm gonna position it behind her head you can see these stocks uh, add a lot to the banner before we continue with the text i'm actually going to add the color correction so let's open up the gel pack the link would be in the description for that pack so we're gonna grab the cc group and just drag it <coughs> Now we're going to highlight CC2 and 4. We can delete the uh, other ones. So for CC4, you see the purple pinkish gradient. We're gonna drag down the opacity see, to around 40%. And for CC2, let's drag it down just a little bit to around 70%. Then above the CC, let's add another color correction. So go to black and white. And for the reds, we're gonna drag it down and up the yellows, down the greens, up the cyans, up the blues, and just a little bit. And just make it the blending mode multiply, and we're gonna drag down the opacity to around 10%. Perfect. Alright, so let's make the text. So I'm gonna use Cinema 4D. Um, and for this tutorial, I'm gonna use the Max Lightroom. Um, so you just double click to start it. One thing with the Max uh, Lightroom is that it costs uh, 10 euro. So if you want to purchase a free version, I will leave that in the description below. And this tutorial is gonna show you how to use the Max Lightroom. If you want to know how to use the free Lightroom, you can check out the tutorial I list in the description below uh, where I explain how to make 3D text in the other Lightroom. Just gonna type out the text we're gonna use. Let's click here to see how it looks. I'm gonna change the font to Geographic. I'm gonna make it semi bold. And one thing that's also good with the Max Lightroom is that all the settings are already in place so all you need to do is just type out your text and everything should be in place and uh, if you want to change color just double click on the matte one this will bring up this window I guess you can slide around here I'm gonna just make a dark purple if you want to see how it looks just click this box slash window it's render view and that's how it looks when you render it. So for our render settings, uh, yet again, all the settings are in place with the Max Lightroom. All you need to do is go to save and choose where you want to save it and the name of the file. Then you save it, close that window and press the render to picture viewer. 
<coughs> and Cinema 4D and Cinema 4D is gonna render it out just like that uh, and you should have a PNG on your desktop like I said again uh, I will have a description below to my other tutorial where I show you how to use the free Lightroom it's a little more tedious but if you don't if you don't want to pay 10 euros that's fine and I will leave both Lightrooms in the description below let's just drag our render text into our composition and let's make it a little bit bigger I've actually made two because he's in team evade and I'm just gonna position it where I want it to be so just like that then we can select both layers right click and right strike them over our main text go down here and select photo filter and make it a violet at 25% right click and make it a clippy mask then let's create a new layer and make it a clippy mask as well go to our brush tool we can make it a little bit bigger use black and just oh, we can drag down the opacity just a bit to around 70 percent so around the corner just paint black and then switch to white and paint in some highlights just like that, so we're creating a black and white gradient basically. Then make it the blending mode overlay, and we can drag down the fill a little bit, just like that. Then let's create a new layer, make it the clipping mask as well. Choose white, I'm gonna pin some big strokes here and make it overlay, and we can drag down the fill just like that. Then over it, create a new layer. And don't make it a clippy mask. I'm gonna select a dark purple color. Just create some glow on our text. So make it the blending mode color dodge and we can bring down the opacity a little bit. Just like that. <clears throat> and you can see all those clippy masks made a huge difference on the text. So let's move on to our second text and I'm basically gonna use the same um, effects or whatever you want to call it so I'm gonna create a new clipping mask choose white and let's increase it just like that and make it the mode overlay so we can drag down the opacity a little bit take some black and just around the corners just painting then I'm actually gonna go down here to a half circle again and choose exposure I'm gonna up the exposure a little bit just like that perfect then I'm going to select all the layers and group them so I have one group that's just the text and over it make a new curve adjustment layer and make it a clipper mask try to make an S shape just drag down on the shadows and up the highlights just like this and if you think it's too much we can just lower the fill to around maybe 60% just like that so I'm actually gonna grab the text tool now and type out 0 and 1 change the color to white and I'm using the GM graphic font again I'm gonna make it and uh, make it some bold italic I'm gonna position it right on the text the corner of each letter we'll make it a little bit smaller so you just double click to bring up our layer styles I'm gonna create a short drop shadow you can use the blend mode overlay on the color black and just mess around with these settings then I'm going to make the text layer the blending mode soft light I think I'm gonna do this for every letter on main text so just alt and drag to duplicate it and for our second layer I'm gonna use O2 instead. I'm gonna do this for every letter. This creates a more futuristic style to our text and makes it a little bit more interesting. We can select all our text and just group them. So let's go back to our future 2 pack. Go to plexus and glitches and I'm gonna use yeah actually this stock I'm just gonna drag it to our banner make sure it's the blending mode screen you can see it has this orange tint again so i'm gonna use ctrl and u make it uh, purple 
just like that. Just place it behind our text, just like this. And position it about right here. I'm gonna use the eraser tool and just on a opacity of like 70%. I'm just gonna erase behind it, just like this. So we can still see what the text says. So it's like this. And we are pretty much done. You could either add your social media uh, or some sponsors that you have. So I'm just gonna use evade sponsors and add them right here. So just like that, just added um, the sponsors. And uh, now you could a really clean and futuristic season 9 themed Fortnite banner. Uh, and when you're happy with the banner, just make every layer in, into one group. Just control J to duplicate it and control E to merge it. You want to filter, sharpen and sharpen. This just makes the banner a little more crisp. Then just group this, duplicate it and merge it again. I'm going to go to filter again and noise, then add noise. I'm going to set the amount to 7% and the distribution to uniform. And make sure you have this monochromatic box checked. Decrease the opacity to around 30%. <coughs> and we're happy and you want to export it, go to file, export and save for web. I'm going to save it as a PNG 8. Just like that, just click save. Perfect. Now we have created this awesome banner. I also want to thank you for 10,000 subscribers. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.